Alrighty, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Taco Stacks here, back to another thrifting video. Uh, heading up to Scran today. Gonna head about... Ah, oh, you are going nuts. Heading up to Scran today, going to do three thrift stores. What? Alright, well heading up to Scran today, we're going to do three thrift stores. I'm not going to go down to East Stroudsburg. Uh, now with having a dog, I don't feel really like uh, spending all day thrifting. And uh, should be a fun one. It's getting colder out closer to the holiday season, so I'm expecting some some big scores today. Even myself, I'm trying to kind of clean up here. I'm getting rid of dead inventory, stuff that hasn't sold. I'm now donating it, and stuff that I have for like the flea market that's just not going to sell. I'm also donating that. Good time to get your tax write-offs if you want them, if you follow taxes on eBay or Etsy or anything like that. So uh, hopefully let's find some good treasures. Let's get out there and let's see what's in... Uh, See you to the thrifts today. Let's do it. All right, hiding over here in the long sleeve section. We have a silhouette sweatshirt, 1993. It's got a, a wolf on it. Maybe a uh, distinctive relative of salsa. And we have a Notre Dame sweatshirt. Very nice, big logo design, made by bike size XL. Probably fits like a large, a little wide large, but it's blue, and blue is not half off. I have a bunch of Notre Dame stuff in my shop right now. It's just not moving. Um, so I'm going to pass on those things. That will be a passer. Alright, found this awesome teal Walt Disney World shirt. It's missing a tag. It looks like it's a small, but it was probably a medium and shrunk dramatically. Because this thing is really short. Um, and it's wide. Also has some standing down there, so I'm going to pass on this, but really cool design. Just grabbed this vintage Derek Jeter shirt made by Nutmeg, 1998 World Series t-shirt. The old Nutmeg Mills. Awesome shirt, size large. Uh, probably a youth large. Fits definitely like a men's small, so that, that's going to work for me. Very, very cool Derek Jeter. Arguably one of the most notable Yankees in history. This, uh, this stuff always does sell very well. And this is something you can sell on eBay or Etsy, especially during uh, baseball season. Got some vintage blow molds over here. This guy's actually a decent one. He's the Santa with all, I think, the cats on it, or dogs. What is that? This guy's not in bad shape. He's 10 bucks, so he's too pricey for me. Oh, it's got like, uh, I don't know what those kind of figures. That looks like a horse. Oh, he's got a bulb here on his belt. Uh, Ten bucks. Whoa, that's not good. Don't want to be that guy. Put that back there. And then you got this guy up here. He's also ten bucks, which, you know, if you're buying it to sell, like, at a store or something, or you're a collector... That's worth it, but for me to sell at the flea market, that's top dollar. That's pretty much the high end in, in terms of what I'd get for it. All right, seems to be the day of electric shocks. Keep getting electric shocked on my, uh, my Jeep. All right, so here we are, thrift store number two. You guys might also be wondering why I'm wearing jackets, because it's really cold. I'm someone who doesn't wear jackets, so you know it's... A little chilly. I thought the door would be right there. It's right here. This place always is difficult to find a cart. There's a lot of Christmas stuff, a lot of ceramics. Holy cow! thousand dollars there's no way I think it costs a thousand bucks holy moly it's fifty dollars here but there's no thousand dollars for a Christmas tree oh, maybe that's what I think that. Alrighty, got myself a pan, so I'll talk a little bit about this shortly. Um, and I also picked up a nice vintage Dodgers jersey, who uh, they had a very successful season this year, so I think they'll be alright for next year. 
onward. All right, last thrift store today. Got a couple shirts here. Got a nice uh, Rice University t-shirt. Got a Land Braves Chipper Jersey, Chipper Jones Jersey t-shirt and like a Penn State sweatshirt over here in the sporting goods section. Uh, you guys might see I pick up a lot of hockey sticks, generally in the trash, about $4 here. This one's also $4, it's been here for a while, so they're not really like a hot commodity. It's one of those things where like, no one really plays pick up hockey or street hockey. It's, it's just not something that's very popular around here. Um, this is something that, you know, if you did play street hockey, you go through a stick so often because the bottom of the sticks get worn down on the cement. Or that concrete, whatever you play on. There is a Coors Light golf bag over there, and I kind of want to grab it because I just looked it up and it's like 60 or 70 bucks new. That one's used. And I was thinking, probably get 35, 40 bucks for it. It's eight dollars. They're just such a pain to ship. Uh, you know, you really just put two boxes together, but um, it's just like I have to find the box. I only get the box once every three months. So, it, it, and I already have one that I haven't even listed. So it's gonna be one of those things I know if I buy it, it's just gonna sit around, I'm not gonna to wanna to do it, even though I can make 30 or 40 dollars. And that's the hardest part, is buying something that you're interested in, something you're interested in shipping, because that is something I'm not interested in shipping. So I have to look it over, see if there's any more rust. I did notice some rust on it, and do a little bit more looking at it, and determine if I really wanna grab it. So like I said, People are dropping off donations. Holy macro. There's got to be seven people around that truck. Got more guys pulling in just to, to drop stuff off. So thrift store should be good for the, for the, the holiday season. Everyone's kind of cleaning up. Trying to make room. In terms of what I got today, I got some good things. Um, I ended up buying that golf bag. And we'll do a little bit of a recap of what I grabbed. Show you guys what, uh, what I picked up. All right. Just made it back. As you see, I haven't even taken off my jacket. I haven't been inside yet. I'm uh, gonna run through this stuff pretty quickly. We got one, two, three, three bags. Wasn't really like an overly great day. Uh, I did pick up a couple things. Definitely makes up for the trip. I ran across another stacker. He's actually been at, he, he actually, uh, he notified me last year. I think it was in December. We were at a thrift store. He's like, hey, I like watching your videos. And I see him every once in a while in the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area. And he actually was at every thrift store that I went to. And in the second one, he gave me a sweatshirt that he thought, you know, I like because it was a big logo design, Penn State. He said, you know, he wasn't selling it too well, so he gave it to me. And then at the last thrift store, I gave him a Philadelphia Eagle sweatshirt, brand new, his size, 1996 sweatshirt. So all worked out in the end. Very, very awesome to see that, you know, people still out there. It's not all about the money. Actually, here's the Penn State sweatshirt. Very, very cool. Very cool. And it was on sale. But here's the one clothing item I want to talk about. Then I'll get into this other stuff. Good old LA Dodgers. Dodgers jersey. You got the Major League Baseball patch logo. And it's the old school majestic authentic jerseys. What a beauty. So this is a size 3XL. It's going to be held on... Uh, held off ebay until next spring the dodgers did very very well this year this cost me eight dollars i actually told him to buy it and he was like no nah, it's all right it's like a 40 to 50 dollar jersey it's just one of those things that you're going to have to hold off until next year dodgers dodger jerseys are very very hot right now uh, there are a couple teams that always do well dodgers are definitely one of them it was eight dollars uh, the jersey new retails, well, see, that's a vintage one. It's probably from, I don't know, not really too vintage. Probably from the early 2000s or mid-2000s. That jersey new is like 100 bucks. Nowadays, it's like 120 or 140 uh, I picked up, oh, wow, this thing weighs massive, weighs a lot. Uh, very, very hard to read the name on the back right there. It's uh, it's that Le Croissant, Croissant. I don't speak French. It is made in France. Uh, pan. And I've done really well, really well with this brand. I found, I think it was a teapot in the trash. You guys might remember this. I think it's like a lime green. I think I got like 30 or 40 bucks for it. This one ranges anywhere between like $30 to 120 used. 
it's all about condition. I don't really know about the ridges, if that's kind of uh, in high desire, but very well made pan. It is a very large pan as well. Uh, it was eight bucks, so I did pay up on that as well. And lastly, we got ourselves, you guys might be able to see that. I did pick up the Coors Light bag, a uh, bunch of golf balls in it. Like I need more golf balls. I expect to sell from anywhere between like 30 bucks to $50. It's not a big flip. When I get those padded envelopes, padded envelopes uh, from the post office and get the boxes. I'm going to stack two boxes and that's going to go in it. It's going to be an easy ship. You just tape around the box where they meet together and that is it. It is done for. It's like an easy $30 profit. It's not too much to, uh, to handle. The whole process in terms of photographing, typing, and shipping that is probably going to be about like 10 or 15 minutes. So if you can make 30 bucks in 15 minutes, it's definitely well worth it. Overall, a fun day. It's always fun to go out going thrifting. Go ahead and get back inside the salsa. And hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you guys enjoy thrifting and you want to see more videos, definitely subscribe to the channel for future videos if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.